said there's two negotiations right here. This is the problem isn't, uh, it's not feasible to continue with the rate they were offering. So I just wanted to make it known to the we're still working on it and uh, we're going to do what we can to to ensure that the uh, service stays. The service is still going to be there for the uh, people that have the uh, service. Um, we never, they, I call, when I called the local rep, um, she said that. Uh, I'm trying to remember. You got this on YouTube? Mm -hmm. But uh, the, uh, the postal service is, uh, you know, it's pretty well, she, from what I understood what she was saying, it, was, it wasn't going to move forward, that uh, it's already a done deal. And that's why I was upset about it, because I, I mentioned to her that uh, they did not contact the municipality. They said it was a done deal that they're going to get. Well, it was. It looked. It sounded like that from her. So that's why I was. I was really upset about it because they really didn't have an opportunity to contact the. Or they did have the opportunity, but they didn't take the opportunity to contact the municipality and, and you know keep them informed of what was going on. So I just, you know, like I say, I'm going to do what I can to. Uh, and I have another individual there that's. Uh, I've been working with. Uh, he's. Uh, he's. We're both working together, and hopefully that. Uh, you know. Things will come up. That's all I can say up to now. But, uh, you know, you hear mixed messages. I already talked to another individual too. Uh, he's in the postal service. I know him for years, so he's looking into. He never heard. And he was never more in the upper tier of the postal service. He never heard that the uh, service was going to be uh, disbanded. So hopefully, we can come to some kind of agreement. Can come to some kind of agreement with the store owner. Is the store owner. They had that service for the last five years, and uh, previously to that, previous to that was two other stores. Uh, they were, so was I'd say ten years ago. So that's fifteen years. So the other two were ten years. So this one, this lady that was running the store, she was for five years now. So anyway, I just want to make sure that residents uh, understand that they're wrong. Well, yeah, I think that, you know, we're going to put the boxes out and we put the rep home. And uh, the boxes, you know, are only a certain size, so if you want to get your parcels, you won't fit. So, and if you look at the, the at standards, all the people that uh, get mail from the they come for the big rep. And they can go there and get the big rep. I don't understand. You know, look at different other, other communities where they have to pay for a building, they have to pay for uh, you know, the upkeep of the building, plus the maintenance of the building, um, for a you know, janitor and whatnot. And then the, yeah, the expense of having the employees working there. So that adds into a lot. So from what I'm hearing, what they're, paid, what they're being paid there is not a lot. So what they offer them equates to $3 an hour. So she said, and that's not feasible to continue the service. Yeah. Well, I read in the. Uh, yeah, they wanted a certain amount of hours to be open for them. Yeah. And the operator at times said, Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I'm not going to keep someone there, pay them. I knew that it was an hour. Yeah. So, so you give me a little bit of money. So I'm sure it's all going away. Now we just got to like, unbox it. Yeah. Like I said, you can't, there's no, you can't go to the, that outlet and get a uh, express post or something. <laughs> you know, and it's it's about our seniors too. I mean, they have to uh, travel a lot further. Or, like you say, the standards less encompasses a lot of a large area. So, it is. It's just not the village, but you're looking at all the other concessions too. You know, you're near the road, you have, uh, Myers Road, uh, Cameron, uh, Lily Allen. You can just go on and on. So, a lot. A growing area. It is. Oh. So I just hope that uh, something works out. Um,
there's another thing I want to mention too. No, that's um, yeah. I think I'll which, uh, you know, like he said, the seniors are not over here. They don't even travel that far. There's no transit no service there. So, that's just really cool. But, you know, when you look at the, uh, the amount of cars that travel on 138, there's 16,000 vehicles a day, a day mm -hmm. that travel on there. And where are they going to put these boxes where it's going to be, you know, safe for it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know if it's broken? I haven't called yet. No, no, no. So, I mean, oh, I'm just wondering if yeah. that's the parking lot. Yeah. 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 It's just a draft right now. I'll give you the I could get the story the whole time. I don't know. 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 I don't There's another thing that comes away that I remember this. When they walked in, they offered them half of what they were getting paid previously. So I mean, how do you, how can you run a business if somebody walks in and says we're going to give you half of what you're paying? Yeah. It's pretty hard. That's a that's a hard to take, isn't it? It's hard to take. So I uh, I don't know. Yeah, just